the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 3rd of January. I'm James Spann. Nice and quiet today. We turn sharply colder in the days ahead and potential for some winter mischief. Late Friday, Friday night or Saturday morning. We have new data, so let's roll in there and talk about it. This is where we stand today. The trough that brought the severe weather yesterday and last night that's rotating up the East Coast. We have a zonal flow. A lot of clouds lingering, but the sun beginning to break through in spots. That's the visible satellite view. And it feels pretty good, mostly 60s on the board. Uh, Birmingham at 65. Tuscaloosa, Anniston, 63. That's a little above average, but we go way below average later this week. In fact, you can see that really cold air coming down across the Great Plains. And the old barbed wire fence up on the state line is not going to stop that. Uh, phase one arrives tomorrow. We'll probably be in the 40s all day. And then phase two arrives on Friday. We'll be in the 30s all day. So, you know, forget the, uh, you know, the chance of wintry precipitation. The one thing for certain is the fact that it's going to turn pretty cold here uh, in coming days. Some of the coldest air so far this season. Winter storm warnings for some of the western states and also in the northern tip of Maine. Other than that, a relatively quiet day for the eastern U.S. And this is the precipitation for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning of next week. And, of course, the question screams how much of that will be liquid or how much will be freezing or frozen. And, boy, the other big story, look at the uh, Sierra Nevada mountains in California. Goodness, that's not a mistake. That's 25 inches. That's over two feet of liquid. And I don't even want to count the amount of snow that they're going to get out there. They'll be uh, digging out from that for a long time. A tremendous rain-snow event for the northern half of California, which, of course, like us, they've got this drought, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But let's take a look. I know what you want to know. Is it going to snow and where and who gets it and when and all that? So here we go. Let's tell you what we know. This is the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. You can see that vortex setting up north of the state. The winds pick up out of the north in the wake of the first cold front. And again, uh, we'll be in the 40s all day. A lot of clouds around with a few peaks of sun, much like today, but definitely colder. Thursday, cool and dry. We start the day around freezing. The high should be in the low 50s in most spots. The sky will be partly sunny. Friday, the next surge of cold air drops in. Good chance we stay in the 30s all day. In fact, the GFS is printing a high of only 36 on Friday for Birmingham. And you can see with the wave west of the state, snow breaks out around the Arklatex, rain for Houston, Lake Charles, New Orleans. Let's go to midnight Friday night. 12 a.m. Saturday, the GFS, okay, this is just the deterministic GFS, and it has uh, potential for wintry weather problems, really with the core problems along the U.S. 80 corridor, Jackson, Mississippi, Meridian, Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, with all that mess mostly south of Interstate 20, and then rain down in far south Alabama. Six o'clock Saturday morning, Snow possible basically from I-20 south. Uh, this is suggesting Montgomery would see some snow with freezing rain or sleet down into Greenville and Troy and Evergreen. And then by Saturday at noon, the whole thing winds down. Uh, but again, the GFS has been pretty consistent with the peak of this being Friday night. And this is the accumulated snow off the GFS. And again, it's got the heaviest snow really close to the U.S. 80 corridor. Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika. But I'll say this, you know, typically whenever you see that here, it's a closed upper low, very cold core that comes through. And that's not what we have here. And I would say that that probably is not going to happen. Uh, it just the pattern doesn't favor that. So let's look at the European. This is Friday morning. Now, the European is suggesting we could see some light snow beginning early Friday morning over the Tennessee Valley up in North Alabama uh, that might create some issues as temperatures there should be near the freezing mark at that point. And then we'll go to Friday evening at 6 o'clock, and the European has rain for the southern half of the state, some light snow for the Tennessee Valley, really not that much. And then by midnight Friday, I'm sorry, by Saturday morning, this is uh, Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, pretty much the whole thing is over. 
This is the snow projection coming off the European. And again, you can see the difference. The GFS had a strip of heavy snow close to US 80, Selma, Montgomery, Opelika. The European has lighter snow for mainly the Tennessee Valley along and north of US Highway 278 and amounts there only about one half to one inch. So again, there's huge conflict here in the model output. And do you even want to look at the Canadian? Oh, come on, we'll do it here. Uh, and the Canadian likes the I-20 corridor, kind of splits the difference, and it's very aggressive, and I don't think we see that much snow. It's hard to get that much in this kind of setup. It's got some big numbers, but uh, I would say that's way too aggressive. This is the uh, ensemble output from the GFS, taking all the members, I think 21 members, and uh, this is the chance of greater than three inches of snow, and you can kind of see that stripping through there. Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, Somebody in there is going to get some snow, but at this point, it's just too early. Understand, we're talking about a Friday night snow event, and this is Tuesday. We're not ready, and, and the science really doesn't allow for us to show you those kind of maps you want. Is it going to snow in my backyard? Is it going to snow at you know 8 p.m. Friday night where I live? We can't do that yet, uh, but we can make some general observations. And one more chart again. This is the European. The new ensemble data is not in off the 12Z set. This is what I showed you this morning, but... Again, you get the idea then at the bottom, the ensemble mean. That's And the European has 50 members in the ensemble. 50 members, and that's what you see at the top. Most all of them show some snow, and this is for Birmingham. The mean of all the members, it's about a half inch. The green bars down below in that lower chart, the uh, deterministic OZ run had about two inches. But I th this is what we're showing, and I'm not going to change it much. We're basically going to take the northern half of the state and mention the chance of some snow or sleet Friday, Friday night, possibly into early Saturday morning. And as you can see, uh, it's too early to forecast accumulation potential or placement. Not everybody in those colors is going to get snow here. Understand that. But tomorrow morning, we know that you'll want some better answers. And after we see the new data set tonight, we'll be a little more specific. As we get closer, we'll add supplemental information. But right now, this is all we feel comfortable with. We did a conference with the Weather Service in uh, Birmingham, and we're kind of on the same page. And this is just what we're going to give right now. But there is a chance this could impact travel uh, Friday, Friday night, or Saturday morning. So just be aware of the possibility. That's all that is right now, a possibility. All right, Sunday, it's going to be cold. Uh, Sunday morning, we could see teens and colder pockets. Now, where the snow is down, we could easily see teens. The high only in the 40s. The sky will be sunny. At the GFS showing 42 for Birmingham. And Monday, Monday morning is going to be cold. The GFS is showing 19 for Birmingham with a high in the middle 40s. Then a week from today, heights are coming up, troughing in the west, and that looks dry, warmer with highs back in the 50s. This is the end of the forecast period, Friday of next week, the 13th. And you can see the heights are a bit higher, and down below that, that looks kind of quiet. Temperatures coming off the European Ensemble, those cold days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But then we warm up next week with highs back in the 50s to near 60. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have more notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. Uh, we'll be on television this evening. Join us if you can. ABC 3340 News, 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock on TV or the live stream. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.